Hey gang, it's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode, there you go, another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. Well, I am on site. Uh, we had a leadership retreat today down at uh, Connect for Master Networks. Master Networks is a national organization, uh, networking organization, and uh, we've, we have a chapter. I started a chapter in Spokane over a year ago, and every year they do an annual conference in Dallas, or in, actually in Plano, Texas, uh, called Connect. And that's what I'm down here for today, tomorrow, and the next day. But um, So that's where I am. But check this out. So here we are. I'm just going to be a 360 panorama. Um, we're at the Hilton here in Plano, Plano, Texas, Granite Park. Um, so listen, I want to talk about marketing and that you are an artist, not a scientist. Um, years ago, I heard Seth Godin. Well, I, I, listen, Seth Godin is one of my favorite of all time humans like in terms of in in the world of marketing and how he thinks about business um, I just love who he is uh, in the space of marketing so so for years Seth Godin has been saying you know like go make your art go make your art and he listen he is his genre is marketing Seth Godin's genre is marketing and what he says often is go make your art which I love right because that just changes the frame of marketing a ton right like I think a lot of times it's easy for people to think of marketing like algorithms and um, ads and statistics and what's my what's my click through rate and what's my what's my cost per lead and we think in all these metrics about marketing, but for me, listen, for us, marketing for the rest of us, we're not scientists. If you're like me, listen, if you're in my tribe, you don't approach marketing from the place of science. You approach marketing from the place of emotion. You place marketing from the place of empathy. That's how we. That's how we do marketing. That's how we do marketing. Not from statistics. Now I'm not saying st- st- statistics don't have their place. But what I am saying is that the heart of your marketing has to come from a place of empathy and emotion and connection. That's what this show is about. Marketing for the rest of us who think of it that way. So, do you remember Bob Ross? Do you remember Bob Ross back in the day, like Happy Little Trees and? and all that. I remember watching Bob Ross uh, when I was a kid. I, I would watch Bob Ross. That's actually what I did. <laughs> and he would sit there and I remember him talking about like, there are no mistakes. He would, he would go, he would like paint something as like, yeah, you know, if you think you made a mistake, it's, it's not a mistake. You just turn it into something else. And um, so that's one piece of art that I want to focus on in this, in this particular episode is like, there are, there are no mistakes and, and you just got to go with it. Like, if you, if you stutter, if you stumble, if you forgot what you were going to say, like it's all fine because it's all humanity. You can't mess it up. Marketing is art, right? The other thing I would say about marketing is art is that an artist creates, shows up today and creates a piece of art. And the next day they create a different piece of art. Artists create art. That's what they do, right? And if you think of marketing as your art, then you won't put so much pressure on yourself for what your marketing looks or sounds like. Marketing is a self-expression, just like art. Art is a self-expression for artists. What do artists do? They make art. Why? Because they're artists. Like that's a self-expression. If you could relate to your marketing like a self-expression, then then your relationship with marketing would be one that is is healthy and enjoyable and refreshing instead of one that's filled with criticism and doubt and skepticism and fear, right? So many people relate to their marketing like, oh, I couldn't put myself out there like this. I couldn't, I, I, what if I mess up? Or what if it's not the right thing? Or what if, all the what ifs. But artists don't come from a place of what if. Artists just start painting. Artists just start taking pictures. And we play with it. We see what happens, right? Yesterday, I would, my, the episode was on, you know, marketing is messy until it's not. A lot like relationships, marketing takes time and it's, it, your marketing is a relationship with your fans or your, your viewers, right? So in the, in the similar way, right, like marketing is like art and you can't break it. You can't, an artist doesn't break a painting, they just paint. There's, <laughs> I got a bug flying around my face. Um, so that's how I want you to think about, that's, how, that's why I want you to think about uh, marketing as art. Kat says, why can't, why can't you be both an artist and a scientist? Yeah, that's awesome. Kat, I love that. Absolutely. You should be, if you can be both, great. I think what I'm speaking to is the, 
not the skill set of art and science, but the heart of a marketer is that of an artist. Um, my, I, I think that's my tribe anyway. I think, I think we, uh, we, my tribe, we think from a place of empathy. And I, I tend to think of science not so much about empathy as I think about empirical data, right? I think of science as data. And I really believe that marketing is a conversation. Marketing is a relationship. And that's typically not science, right? Science is about measuring things. And that's not how I relate to marketing. Now, I say that and I will run Facebook. I'm running Facebook ads right now. And there is very much, I'm very much looking for what is the engagement? What's my click-through rate? Like, I get that, yes? But that, the science of it for me, the measuring, the metrics, the data for me are secondary or follow the art. So I'm speaking to you out there who are interested in marketing from a place of self-expression and only secondarily a place of science and measuring. I think we get it backwards and I think what we try to do is we go into marketing with all sorts of things we're going to measure but we always we miss the art and so our our marketing doesn't land it doesn't connect so you can measure all sorts of stuff but if it doesn't land your measurements suck so for me it starts with art secondary fine science is great like there is a place to measure but again if what you're if what you're advertising doesn't land then what are you measuring there's no connection to measure but you, you'll actually see that in your measurements. You'll actually see like people aren't connecting with what it is you're putting out. So I, I say this to you today because I want you to relate to, I want you to have a, a healthy relationship to marketing. Like marketing is a place for me to play. It is a canvas for me to express and see what resonates, what doesn't resonate, right? Um, have you ever seen like where artists will go through different moods or seasons of their careers like some season of of marketing they'll have a really dark mood and so their their uh, paintings for example will be really dark and then they'll go through this bright phase and their you know their art has this really bright mood to it I don't think it's any different I think for you to show up fully who you are which if you go back through these episodes you'll realize like I believe that people will buy from you when you show up as who you really are they don't want you to regurgitate something you've heard from somebody else. They want to know who you are. And when they know who you are, then they feel like they could actually take action or you've earned, you've earned their attention and they're willing to take action because they actually get a sense of who you are. But that comes from you being self-expressed. My message is marketing. Sometimes my, my message about marketing in this show can be bright and colorful and fun and lively. And sometimes my message, because it's my art and where I'm, self ex- where I'm expressing from, can be dark and moody and deep and reflective, right? The container is still marketing for me. That's the, that's the container of my show, of my message. And you have a container for your message. But inside of that, you have total freedom to paint whatever picture in your marketing you wanna to paint today, because that's what lets us know you're human. Thanks for hanging out with me a little bit today, gang. Tomorrow, I get to do a breakout session on how to market your important work. I'm excited for that. We're going to cover a lot of what I do in our marketing agency. Uh, these are my new business cards, and you can actually see right there, like, that is what, uh, that is what I'm going to cover. That image right there is what we do in an agency, and that is how you market your important work. But um, that's what I'm getting ready for tonight. We'll, we'll present that tomorrow. And if you guys are interested more in that, you can go to mygroundswell.com and learn what we do for people inside their marketing. Until then, uh, until tomorrow when I go live with the next episode, have a great night and we'll see you.